night where you just didn't quite have your best command? Yeah, that might have been some of the worst stuff I've had uh, in quite a while. Fastball command just wasn't very good. Um, don't know that I've had more than two four-pitch four pitch walks in a while, so uh, it was frustrating. Uh, and then when it seemed like I did execute a pitch, it was a base hit somewhere. So, um, you know, frustrating night, you know, knowing that uh, anything that looked like a quality start was a win, unfortunately, but um, just didn't get it done. What do you do in that situation? What were you doing tonight to try to find it throughout the game? You just gotta keep keep focused on trying to execute pitches. Uh, you know, sometimes things don't go your way, and you know, sometimes you execute a pitch and just misses, or sometimes you execute a pitch and they get hit. Um, but you know, I think uh, it's easy to get caught up in, in some of the negative things going on, and you know, whether it's losing your command or you know not executing the pitch like you wanted to. And um, I just tried to stay focused on trying to execute pitches and you know not letting the frustration sink in. That second inning, your pitch count was kind of climbing there. Were you thinking about? Getting and out, just getting through and, and getting some more innings for the day. No, I mean I think uh, I think you know when we start the day, I knew that I wanted to go. I mean I was expecting to go 120 pitches. You know yeah. uh, that was you know in my head that was my goal, trying to save the pen as much as possible. So um, yeah, when the pitch count crept up, um, you know it's uh, thankfully I had a short first, but um, it's the more frustrating thing is you know feeling like um, you know you inflict a little self damage by having a walk, uh, which I kind of did all night, but. Um, you know, when you when you are executing pitches and you're not getting the results you want consistently, uh, you know sometimes it happens once or twice in an inning, but when it happens, you know that much in one inning, it's a little frustrating. Does does it add to the frustration to, to have a good first inning and a good third inning sandwiched around a, you know, a tough second inning? Yeah, I mean I, that, that's going to happen a little bit. You know, it seems like that's kind of been my Achilles heel all year is having you know one big inning. Um, I felt really good in the first, third, and fourth, and even good there in the fifth, and had a little tough luck with a couple of close pitches on JD, and then. Uh, you know the the infield single again there from Devers, but um, you know yeah I mean it uh, it's absolutely frustrating. You know like any time that I feel like uh, especially when you know first and second base is loaded and I feel like you know I have a good chance of getting a double play and I'm not able to get it. Um, you know those are the ways that you know my whole career I've been able to get out of those situations and I just wasn't able to do it tonight. It feels like they have a patient offense that'll make you pay on nights like tonight too. Yeah they do a really good job on two strikes with off speed pitches. Um, I feel like there were times that I did not do a good job of, with pitch selection. Uh, I feel like we had a really good plan going in, and I feel like the three innings that I threw the ball well, you know, I think we executed well, and um, the two innings that I didn't, I just feel like I got away from that plan a little bit, and, and uh, you know, didn't didn't have the right pitch selection at the right time. Not necessarily you, but was the energy good in the dugout? Uh, I mean, field or seventeen innings in last night? I mean, I think Garver felt it quite a bit, but um, you know, overall, I feel like guys, you know, felt really good going into the game. You know, for the most part, people showed up pretty late trying to get enough sleep. And, um, you know, those are the situations where you try not to think about it too much because both sides have to deal with it. Uh, you know, even even playing field when it comes to that. Is Rocco, are you ready? 